For this Wednesday's video, I just thought I'd give you a quick update of some of the things that are going through at the moment and see some of the equipment that I'm using. So this is the K&K Force, I've been doing a few videos on this recently and this machine has all kinds of potential, it's got this Z axis here um, which has actually got a little bit of movement there and you can see that it can graduate unlike a lot of CAD knives that just go up or down it can actually move and this, believe it or not, has a little rotary tool which can fit in there it can do some basic milling so at some point I'll be doing some um, PCB manufacture with this but at the moment I mainly just use it for uh, cutting stencils this is for a friend I've got another one to do for work this week for painting up uh, fabricated metal and this is controlled by uh, this little Windows 10 notebook that I got for a couple of hundred pounds and that's sitting next to the Up Mini 2 which is a knocking out part of the MPC and T at the moment so I just thought I'd give you a quick uh, look at the software this is a piece of software called Sure Cuts A Lot uh, and it's sort of aimed at the crafters market, you know, the kind of people who do scrapbooking, that kind of thing. So on paper, it should be terrible, but it's actually probably the best vector editor that I've ever used. It's really, really simple, super robust, it's got a trace function. You can set out the, the sheet size so it's exactly the same as um, what you're using on the machine. So it's super easy. And a few weeks ago, I ended up uh, having all kinds of problems. I put a card up here. Um, with the sheet going at an angle so I've recently printed these little um, 3d printed guides that was the first thing I ever printed with the uh, the up mini so that keeps this on the straight and narrow and I've just had absolutely no problems so I'm cutting this um, this stuff which is 0.5 millimeter polypropylene it's a really really sturdy stencil material so that's sure cuts a lot so I'll do a video on this in the coming weeks. Also, um, I use this to drive the um, Up Studio, and that runs the 3D printer. So that is um, knocking out another part, and I've been having some trouble with lifting prints. It's starting to do it again a little bit there. I've got a video coming out this Friday. This uh, I think it's Five Minute Friday, number 34. Uh, well, I was getting a bit frustrated, but I've had to go back to basics and I've largely been having uh, success with that. So let's have a look at some of the prints I've been doing. This is one of the um, roller components. There we go. There's a bit of a problem going on. At least we've cut the two main parts, but it's now dragging it around. That's because I was being lazy and tried to reuse this stuff. But just take a bit of an aside just to show you this this is um, 3m remount and I generally spray this it's quite expensive stuff this thing this is like best part of 30 quid a tin might be 25 um, I'll spray the surface and it's basically like the 3m the standard 3m mount which you might have seen which is this stuff um, except the green cap is repositionable it's almost like post-it note glue anyway that's gone pear shaped so the last little stencil at the end there is uh, going to have to be recut but that's not a big deal um, so anyway back to this this is the um, up studio and I'll do a video on that but the main problem I've been having is been printing these components that's been a bit of a challenge but um, we got there eventually and now we're making a good bit of progress it's another z-axis component and here we have uh, well, that one part of the rollers and this was uh, part of the stands rather for the axis and that's what's coming out here and there's two different designs so we've got nine minutes left there so hopefully that'll give a decent print this is finished so I'll just show you how um, this comes off so there's these little rollers here at the back pull this out And hopefully, there's a lot of messing with setting the, the knife height right, but if you get it right, these letters just pop right out. Um, so that's fantastic. And recently, I ended up changing a blade. This is typical of something when it slips, but you know, that's easily solved. So I'll just cut that off there and recut it. But recently, I ended up changing the blades. I did do a video on a blade change, but this machine's fantastic because you can keep all your gubbins in here. Um, here we generally keep a brush for cleaning out rollers, 
scissors, craft knife, uh, pens and all kinds of bits that you need on a, on a daily basis when running the stencil machine. I also do like actually the uh, the base of the of the tier time printer as well. You can keep stuff in I'm a big fan. Anything that keeps the place tidy and this is the calibration card which I was keeping there. I was quite rude about that actually. I thought it was silly but it's coming really useful. So I'll eat my words. But anyway that's just a quick tour for those of you who are interested in uh, what kind of stuff I'm doing at the moment. 3D printing and stencil making mostly but soon we'll be back and we'll get some spinning tools once we've got the MPC and C. So more videos to come on that. So if you like these videos do like, subscribe, comment and we'll see you Fridays for a discussion of ABS prints that don't stick.